edition of the news. The third wave of Black Series Archive Collection. We may know what one of them are in the lineup. Five new Black Series code names revealed. Fan First Friday returning this Friday. Or Saturday if you live in my part of the world. We got Hot Toys, Hot Wheels, and it's good to be back. All this and more coming up. Welcome everybody to Use Your Mic Television. This is not an accident. We'll be talking about Archive Collection right now with the first bit of news. As you've seen, it's been teased by yakface.com on Instagram, something blue. Put that picture up there. Look at this. Levi's jeans, Levi 501s, Levi blue jeans, 501. <gasps> Do you know what that means? That means, so the clue put out there is that it is a figure we've had before in the Black Series coming to the Archive Collection, and it is from this pack. This pack featured the 442nd Siege Battalion, Clone Trooper, a green one, the 212th Attack Battalion, Utapet Yellow Trooper, Coruscant Guard Phase 2 Red one, but the one we are focusing on is this one, the 501st Legion Clone Trooper. This one here will return, most likely, in the Archive Collection Wave 3 2021. It will be one of the four figures released. I don't know if the other ones are those in the pack. Probably not. They'll do something different, perhaps. But most likely, this 501st Legion Clone Trooper, blue, something blue, is that guy. There you go. If you think that rumor checks out, let me know down below. If you know something different, also let me know down in the comments below. It'll be exciting because that pack was kind of hard to get, kind of expensive, and now you'll be able to get that figure within the classic archive collection. This is, uh, of course, wave one last year. Over here, wave two. But this year, there's three waves. We've already had one wave this year. There they are. Thrawn, Cody, Han, and Luke Hoff. The next wave consists of Tusken Raider, Death Trooper, Imperial Tank Driver, and a Scarif Trooper. All good army build and collection. And then this following wave, is all codenamed, so one of those code names belongs to the 501st Legion Clone Trooper. Something blue! He's blue, all right. There you go. Also today, some news via yakfest.com about some code names he found. Put them up on the screen. We've got Winter, Autumn, Summer, Kung Fu, and Judo. <laughs> so when I read code names like this, I see the seasons there, Winter, Autumn, Summer, would be from the same property, and then the Kung Fu and Judo is from another property, but the five figures possibly be in the one case as a mixed assortment for later on down in the year. Let me know if you know what they are. And no, it's not Cobra Kai. That was just me being funny on a live stream. Fan First Friday is coming up this Friday, January 29, Eastern Time in the US, 11 a.m. in the morning for you, but here in Australia, it is... 3 a.m. Once again, I'm going to miss out. I believe the Pally Boys will be live streaming the live stream, live streaming the live stream over on the Blue Harvest Vintage Toy Channel. Check it out from them, guys. Um, what's going to be available or revealed is anybody's guess. There's, we don't know if there's going to be a vehicle. Don't know if there's going to be a playset because we've all got Tantive 4 already in people's hands. It does look like a terrific set if you buy multiples of it. it it's it seems like people who are buying it seem to enjoy it, and there's not too much trouble about it. I think it looks pretty sweet, and it comes with a figure of the Rebel Fleet Trooper from Rogue One lineup on the pill. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, but what are we going to see at the reveals? Could be the first look at the gaming greats in the vintage collection. Uh, we may obviously see real pictures, not digital renderings, of the Boba Fett's coming up in the vintage collection and the Black Series. The Escape Leia, the Bespin Escape Leia in the digital rendering. We'll probably see her in the flesh, plastic. <laughs> the real deal in the packaging, which, which would be lovely. Possibly Krill, possibly IG-11, possibly Palpatine, possibly Echo from that three-pack single-carded this time. Whatever it is, I just hope they do it really well and we're all excited by what they reveal. 
we need to see a little bit more vintage, we always get Black Series because Black Series have a bigger set of figures for their wave. They got more in the wave than the vintage. Vintage is always four characters every single time and then an exclusive pops up here and there. Damn near impossible for the rest of the world to find. But yes, hopefully there's a lot they show. But that's all we're hoping. Please, Hasbro. Please. <laughs> Let's have a look what the other companies are making. Let's get the Hot Wheels now. There's a couple of cars here. First one I'll show you is the Starship Mandalorian Child Hover Pram. It looks so tiny, comes with that plastic base in it. Love the card art. Nice little design. When you buy things like this, you leave them in the packet. Well, I do because I collected Hot Wheels for 18 years. It's a thing when I did. The character car also looks pretty cool with them giant long ears behind him. Excellent stuff. Let's move over to Hot Toys. Have a look at the Dark Trooper. Already announced. Bam, just like that. Hopefully Hasbro get onto this as well. Very cool. Uh, Gentle Giant Bust of Captain Rex. I believe there's 2,500 in the world. Very nice. A removable helmet. Ooh. Grand Admiral Thrawn. 3,000 piece bust as well. Nice. And this Princess Leia milestone statue from General Giant is only a thousand pieces in the world. Wonderful. As I was saying earlier, the Tanti 4 is in people's hands. A uh, little video to show you from the Imperial Communique with Anthony. Check this out. It's actually three pieces, which allows you to reconfigure the sections so you can complete the main corridor. Awesome. That is the modularness of the building it, you know, it looks okay with one, looks better with two, maybe even better with three. The more sets that corridors look fantastic. No, they don't go on diagonals. Everything's at a right angle, so that's how they build. I just wish they didn't put just one figure, two figures per play set, like the palace. As I've said before, I've had a join button, and anyone who's joined my, uh, as a member of the channel, have had a chance to get a video from me doing something else, but that the rest of you don't get to see. And I unboxed the Mandalorian Monopoly. Look at this sweet baby inside. Oh my God, I love the retro collection. This is my first retro collection of 2021. If we look up here, you can see, there you go. Woo! I love retro collection. So he's gonna go up there. Um, I'm gonna have wall space to do another run. So I move things around again, but thank you, Keith. I love it. The Mandalorian uh, Monopoly will be played with. I think we're going to have a cracker game out between the family. Also, it is so good to complete the uh, collection of credit collections. Uh, as you, you can see back here, there they are. There's a IG-11 tucked down the back there. Cara Dune, Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. And Mando right there. The rumor on the street is maybe more coming from the Mandalorian as well. And I believe this figure may make the grade. He might be made into, that's definitely some art out there with Grief Cargo's face in it. Stay tuned for that room, that's just something interesting. Also, I've fallen in love with this figure of late, and believe you me, there is variants out there. People have found a different scatter pattern of the design on him. Number nine, the Rim of Storm Trooper. I am really, really love this figure, because uh, as you know, Bo-Katan, next one, oh, should be number 10. Another variant out there is this one, Han Hoth, different colored outfits, the light brown, the dark brown, no blue. <laughs> if you want blue, buy them and paint them all up for yourself. I knew I'd be a little bit away, so this is where I do a little bit of housekeeping. So I jumped on live streams because I knew I'd be very, very busy. I've been worked off my feet in my real job in the real world, This not the YouTube world. I knew I'd be away. So I jumped on Chris Perillo's live stream on Twitch. Thank you for having me, Chris. You're awesome. Uh, Papa Gord, I was on his channel. Thank you so much. Love to be on. I was live in Canada. <laughs> Amazing. And also, happy birthday to Nick, better known as Only One Kenobi. Only one. And he had a little birthday stream, and I got to be part of that. So thank you for having me on the, your channel as well. But now we're back making videos. <sighs> Hyped about it. Um, before I go, I just want to thank you guys for sticking by me because I've been trying to introduce stuff like um, G.I. Joe's into my videos and I know that can turn people off having different stuff but Star Wars will always be here, Star Wars news will always be on this channel. Don't fear, it's not going away so thank you for sticking around, hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here as they say. 
Thank you so much, all you wonderful people. I've still got my stuff on the screen. There we go. Amazon, Redbubble, join button. It's all there. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And hopefully I can put out some more videos faster because it's um, quite a difficult task. <laughs> Hit subscribe, oh. tap that little bell, slap a like on it if you've enjoyed this video. And thank you. I'll see you next time. All the best.